Okay guys, sorry about that from before. I was extremely, extremely tired. So, um, you wasn't able to see exactly what I was talking about. I am still tired. Um, I've had a lot to do for the last couple of days. Um, so that video you see me put up, I actually just got it from work and everything like that. But I'm just going to show you quickly how I do my recording, how I do my editing, excuse me, and um, basically how I got my setup. So basically, as you can see, I have my keyboard right here and another keyboard right there. Basically, when this dies, I have this backup, or I have this backup, which is my feel good, like, mechanical keyboard. My gaming mouse there, cases, cell phones, and stuff over there. My other Elgato Game Capture HD, which is not the 60. My Elgato Game Capture, the Game Capture HD 60 over there. Um, that's my switcher that basically allows me to switch through all my games from my Xbox One, PS4, Xbox 360, cable box, uh, PS3, all that good shit. My PC and my iMac, that's how I basically got it set up. As you can see over there, there's all my games and stuff over there. Um, that's some games on the table. There's my gaming chair. This, I have two of them. This one right here and the one I'm sitting on. This by far is one of the most comfortable chairs I've ever sat on. Due towards the bucket seats, I mean... I've actually fallen asleep on that, as I said in my other video. <sighs> Here we go. I'm tired. Uh, but here's my gaming PC. As you can see, I got this on top. Normally, I would have it down here at the bottom, but I moved it and put it up here because I want to be able to see inside of it. Um, I got more things to put inside of it. I got about another $400 worth of stuff to put inside of it. So, um... I only got like four things to buy, which is gonna be a water cooler for my own my CPU. So um, I'm gonna take out that stock and put a Kraken X41 inside of it by NZXT. That's a um, LED. I'm sorry, RGB um, LED switch right there. My memory. I want to take that out because currently right now I have uh, eight gigabytes of memory. I can hold up to 16. Basically, what I'm going to do is, uh, let me see, 2, 4, 6, 8, yeah. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to probably upgrade it to exactly 16 gigabytes. So, <coughs> um, so what I'm going to do is get, uh, what I was going to do is go cheap and keep the memory, but, oh, I was going to get two, two, two gigabytes of, um, memory, so that's two gigabytes of each slot, so that's 2, 4, 6, 8. So, in total, if I got four cards, it was going to be like, eight gigabytes for own cards eight gigabytes of um a total but i'm thinking about doing uh four gigabytes per slot to give me 16 so that's four eight twelve sixteen so each slot gives me four gigabytes the um memory that i'm gonna get it's led tracer lights um so i'm gonna get those uh which is gonna go with my um rgb water cooler i'm gonna replace my uh, 7850, that's my Ghost Thermal uh, series on um, my XFX Radian that's going to be replaced. I'm going to buy one more fan uh, Casier. The fan will go up top, do a push and pull once I get my water cooler. Um, I'm going to get a RGB uh, switcher, it's the Hue Plus by NZXT. I'm going to purchase that also. And my last thing to get is, that's basically it. It was the memory, the water cooler, the graphics card, and the Hue Plus. That's it. Four things I want to get. So it's going to cost me like 400 bucks. So, um, yeah, I'm going to purchase a new uh, monitor, which is going to be a 21.9. Oh, just hello. Oh, excuse me, guys. Uh, but this is how I do my recording as you can see my custom controller as you see I got the diamond dogs on here Yeah, see when I unbox this um, Basically, it wasn't this controller. It was just This part the top of the bottom. I purchased a regular, a regular PS4 controller After I purchased it, I just used some of the extra pieces that I got from my other controllers and swapped everything out of it and As you can see I got chrome buttons here on um, my diamond dogs uh, touchpad here 
the Iron Man eyes logo here, chrome trigger guards. Now, one thing I do want to tell you, these um, triggers is actually different. It's really sensitive, so only thing I got to do is tap like that. Just tap like that, and it allows me to fire and shoot and do everything like that. Um, oh, I just know something. Start. Start. Mm. Also with this, um, I do my rapid fire. I just tap it like this. As you can see, I'm barely putting pressure on it. And just by me tapping like this, I can rapid fire mad quick. But this is my custom controller right here. Um, I have the other one, but I'm loving the way how this one is right here. So this is my go-to controller for right now. Got my 3DS XL, PS Vita sitting there. Oh, my monitor here. So basically what I want to do is when I want to capture my gameplays by sitting right here instead of using my TV. Um, the reason why you see this HDMI plug sitting out right here is when I use my Elgato, I plug it over here and I normally game over there and record. But when I do heavy recording and heavy gameplays, I come over here. Sometimes I like to use my monitor or when I want sound completely out of here. I'll switch it over to my PS, um, my PlayStation TV. But you notice my PlayStation TV doesn't have a dark, dark colors like my monitor does. This is an I, um, IPS monitor, and you can see it's deep, deep, rich colors. No sound, no speakers in it. I have my Logitech uh, webcam right there. So when I want to do my live streams, everything, I have my um, Turtle Beach 500 piece, my iMac right here. I mean, I'm sorry, my MacBook. And uh, my gaming mouse, so you'll probably like if I want to switch my games. So let's say if I have my Xbox One, I would just hit this switch right here, and it will switch me over to here, so I can actually uh, play my Xbox on this monitor right here. Uh, one thing I do like is that I, since PC allows you to uh, do the thing with your Xbox, I can just do this and basically pop it over. Um, I have my cords over here labeled. As you can see right here, it says HDMI to display port. Um, I have this one labeled too, like that. And uh, I have another cord over here that's also labeled. So basically, um, when I don't want to use my this monitor like this and I'm gaming on this one, I switch it over to this monitor so I can use my PC and I use this one to game on. And I use this to record my gameplays on, or I can vice versa and use my monitor basically to record my gameplays, everything like that. But um, it's simple. As you can see, when I y'all hear me sometimes saying that my screen cuts off, that's what happens to me. I'm thinking it's my Elgato, which I might have to probably send in there for repair. <coughs> but um, that's my setup. Like, if I want to go back to my regular screen. Uh, one thing I gotta do is just pop these cords out and um, switch it over so I can go back into my my uh, main PC, which I'm gonna do that right now because um, I'm no longer gaming tonight. <clears throat> so uh, let's just let you see exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Um, so one thing I'm gonna do is pop this out because <clears throat> this goes to my own. Um, my switcher on outside when I told you about and that's just gonna go behind my computer <clears throat> so I'm gonna pop this out which is gonna cut off my monitor screen and this is gonna go back into my display port that's why I have everything labeled now my this is gonna go back over to this side to that port oh cord that you see that was unplugged so um and I'm just going to turn on my TV. <clears throat> okay. So I just turn my TV back on. Sorry about that. Okay. And as you can see, it's back over there. And now when you look at it, my monitor is back to this way. And as you can see, switched over. <clears throat> as you can see, I'm using MSI Afterburner. Y'all probably asking me, 
the difference between my monitors, like why one part is big, one part is small. When I switch it over, as you can see, when I switch it over, one part gets bigger, <coughs> another part gets smaller. The reason for this is um, I'm gonna explain to you why it does that. This monitor I got it like sub 4K, so it's on um, this setting. Let me go to display and I need to go to advance. <coughs> That's supposed to be like that. Sign for later. So as you can see, it shouldn't no longer do that little popping effect. Basically that was that um that let's go to advanced display. And as you can see, here's my resolution. Um, I don't keep it in 1080p. As you can see, as soon as I switch to 1080p, uh, everything gets real big on it. But um, I keep my stuff at the highest settings, so I'm going to go back to display, advanced settings, and I'm going to keep it on that one right there. <clears throat> So when I'm playing my games on the settings, it's basically like in uh uh it's in 4K but not ultra 4K. So yeah. <clears throat> so that's my background setups, everything like that. <coughs> Excuse me guys, I do have a cold. I'm sick, my son's sick, basically everyone in my family is sick right now, so I can do enough talking right now. And I will catch you guys my next video but um, let me just show you how this real real quick this is my gaming mouse uh, let's shut this damn song off real quick that shit was getting annoying this is my mechanical keyboard as you can see I did it before I love this keyboard right here um, love this keyboard but um i will catch you guys in my next video peace deuces long well.